trust a stranger? I'm no stranger. I'm El Peace. And I've been watching you. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> I'll drop the cloak and dagger. I've been training to become like you. But training isn't enough. You're more than a warrior. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. I thought they preferred Isu in Atlantis. The Isu may as well be the divine with how they rule. Cold, calculating, indifferent to the people milling beneath them. But it's not just Isu blood that makes you special, is it? There's something else. Well, you tell me. I'm talking about this, your spear. decapitated the last man that looked at my spear. Give it back. Of course, the Castis. I was just showing off. So, what do you want from me? I'm involved with Atlas. He's afraid of taking the relationship public. He says his enemies would exploit me as his weakness, so he keeps me a secret. Wait, you're in love with Atlas? From my experience, I'm not sure Isu men truly love. Nevertheless, I need to make him see that I can be his strength. Our partnership might be a key to bridging the gap between Isu and humans. Your love is strategic. If we take the relationship public, we could marry and I could rule the district by his side, influence policy and ease the tension between the two groups. But so long as I am merely human, it can never be. That's why I want to be like you. You seem very passionate about Atlantean politics. Atlas doesn't approach the human and Isu conflict with compassion for humanity. I believe I can bring that compassion. It would be nice to have another ally in Atlantis. What's your plan? At the Adamant Metalon, they harvest a metal used to create devices just like your spear. My spear is the strongest metal ever forged. Could this be used to forge other weapons? Well... Adamant ingots could, but what I need is raw adamant. I know the one who can forge it for me. The Atlas can't suspect what I'm up to, so make sure you're not seen. Is that what this metal is? I found it when I was there earlier. Here, you can have it. Nice to see that you're as skilled as you look. I'm making the right choice to become more like you. I got where I am through hard work and training, not by taking shortcuts. Of course, the Castis. Your work ethic and drive to survive are traits I aspire to mirror. Still, all you have is raw adamant. Until I take it to a skilled blacksmith so he can forge an Isu device from the adamant. Well, you know where to find the Castis when you need her. The forging takes time. What we do next will change Atlantis irreversibly. You should make sure you complete all your duties as the Castis before meeting me at the Loma of Atlas. Now that I have the Isu device forge, we need to move quickly. You distract Atlas while I sneak into his private chambers. More sneaking. After Poseidon outlawed human experiments, Atlas confiscated a device and kept it. That device theoretically could add a third helix to my DNA. I've seen what these Isu devices can do. It's not pretty. The science is sound. And I've even found evidence of tests being done on humans that looked promising. In previous cycles, of course, before Poseidon outlawed experimentation. Just tell Atlas the truth. You have good intentions. If he's afraid of his enemies hurting me now, what will he think of me undergoing this procedure? Besides, he can't break Poseidon's law. 
I'm not sure a good the Castis goes behind the back of an Atlantean Archon. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Don't worry. Just keep Atlas talking while I'm in his chambers. <laughs> I don't think we have anything in common. What are we supposed to talk about? The weather? Atlas is a jealous lover, and he's already threatened by your role as the Castis. Why not play to that advantage? Whatever you do, don't mention my plans. Great. This will do wonders for our relationship. Everyone knows it's lonely at the top, the Castis. Let's go. I've studied this science extensively. Once I impart Isu DNA into my body, I should be able to use the device without side effects. It's the should that worries me. Remember, whatever you do, don't reveal my political plans to Atlas. I could trick Atlas into thinking you and I are closer than we are. Are we not close? What's there to trick? You know what I mean. Yes. Making Atlas envious would certainly be a good distraction. El Peace! What are you doing here? With her, no less. The Dicastis and I were just taking a stroll, and I remembered I left a book on Atlantean cyclical history here. She'd like to borrow it. Do you mind if I fetch it? I... no. Do you need me to help you look for it? No, no. You two stay here. I'm sure you have much to discuss. What game are you playing, Dicastis? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure by now Elpis has told you about the nature of our relationship. She's hardly as discreet as I'd like her to be. What business do you have with her? What? Is Elpis not allowed to have friends? Of course she can have friends. But I suspect there's more going on here. You have nothing to worry about, Atlas. I have no schemes against you. Maybe you don't play games, but Elpis lives for them. I can tell when she's up to something. Don't talk about Elpis that way. She's not manipulative. She's passionate. So you do care for her then? You don't talk about Elpis like you love her. And you're not speaking of her as if you're merely her casual acquaintance. The truth is, Elpis and I are in love. What? What? What have you done? I'm not weak anymore, Atlas. I can rule Atlantis at your side. This is your doing. You're trying to revolt against the issue with hybrids. No! What did you do? I didn't mean to. He was going to kill you. Ah, it seems my brother finally got his due. Is this your judgment, Digastis? I killed Atlas. It wasn't my intention. I... You hoped to rule by his side to ease the conflict between humans and Isu. He wasn't as supportive of my dreams as I would have hoped. I support you. You can assume his role as you see fit. I will handle Poseidon. My brothers. Thank you, Azais. You can't be more corrupt than Atlas. And Atlantis can't fear progress if it hopes to pass this cycle. Atlantean politics are even more dramatic than in the Greek world. What will you do now? I'm not the first Atlantean ruler to take power by force. If the Isu can do it, why not me? Still. I didn't want to start my reign this way. Bring the good you've always dreamed of to your reign. I will, the Castis. Thank you for your help.
Well, this will make a better ruler than Atlas. She certainly can't do any worse. Now that I have the Isu device forged, we need to move quickly. You distract Atlas while I sneak into his private chambers. More sneaking. After Poseidon outlawed human experiments, Atlas confiscated a device and kept it. That device theoretically could add a third helix to my DNA. I've seen what these Isu devices can do. It's not pretty. The science is sound. And I've even found evidence of tests being done on humans that looked promising. In previous cycles, of course, before Poseidon outlawed experimentation. Just tell Atlas the truth. You have good intentions. If he's afraid of his enemies hurting me now, what will he think of me undergoing this procedure? Besides, he can't break Poseidon's law. I'm not sure a good Dicastis goes behind the back of an Atlantean Archon. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Don't worry. Just keep Atlas talking while I'm in his chambers. <laughs> I don't think we have anything in common. What are we supposed to talk about? The weather? Atlas is a jealous lover. And he's already threatened by your role as Dicastis. Why not play to that advantage? Whatever you do, don't mention my plans. Great. This will do wonders for our relationship. Everyone knows it's lonely at the top, Vikastis. Let's go. I've studied this science extensively. Once I impart Isu DNA into my body, I should be able to use the device without side effects. It's the should that worries me. Remember, whatever you do, don't reveal my political plans to Atlas. I could trick Atlas into thinking you and I are closer than we are. Are we not close? What's there to trick? You know what I mean. Yes. Making Atlas envious would certainly be a good distraction. Elpis! What are you doing here? With her, no less. The Vicastis and I were just taking a stroll, and I remembered I left a book on Atlantean cyclical history here. She'd like to borrow it. Do you mind if I fetch it? I... no. Do you need me to help you look for it? No, no. You two stay here. I'm sure you have much to discuss. What game are you playing, Dicastis? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure by now Elpis has told you about the nature of our relationship. She's hardly as discreet as I'd like her to be. What business do you have with her? What? Is Elpis not allowed to have friends? Of course she can have friends. But I suspect there's more going on here. You have nothing to worry about, Atlas. I have no schemes against you. Maybe you don't play games, but Elpis lives for them. I can tell when she's up to something. Elpis cares about policy in Atlantis. Involve her, and hear what she has to say. It's not her place! It's mine! You don't talk about Elpis like you love her. And you're not speaking of her as if you're merely her casual acquaintance. El 
Peace makes great points about improving the lives of humans in Atlantis. I support her cause. Why don't you? She should support me. Uh, uh, Alas, stop! You betrayed me. You used knowledge I told you in confidence for your own political gain. It was for Atlantis. I don't want to be your weakness anymore. I can help you, Atlas. Lies! You used me! Wait, don't... Ah! 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 This is your fault! The justice wasn't enough, huh? You had to steal away my father's love, turn El Peace against me! You want to rule my Zoma, too! No, it had nothing to do with that! Traitor! You're no longer welcome here! Guards! I need to get out of here. Why are you here? Your life is... didn't support her the way she thought. Oh, that was a lot to take in. I need a moment to clear my head. <laughs> 